मॉर्निंग दिस इज डॉक्टर राजकुमार आर्य एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर इन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग एन आई जलंधर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द मॉडलिंग ऑफ बैच रिएक्टर सो बैच रिएक्टर इज वेरी कॉमनली यूज मोस्ट ऑफ द इन द फार्मास्यूटिकल प्रोडक्ट वेयर मल्टीपल ड्रग्स आर बींग फॉर्मुलेटेड इन द सेम रिएक्टर डिपेंडिंग ऑन द नीड्स एंड टाइम so what you have in a batch reactors it look like this where you charge the feed in the beginning after that you just provides a control environment to in order to maintain the temperature so uh, to maintain the temperature you have here outside of that you have a jacket it could be a cooling jacket or heating jacket but the purpose is of that the jacket to maintain the temperature of the desired temperature of this particular batch because the reaction could be endothermic or the exothermic depending on the reactant being charged and to get the desired product the temperature has to be maintained at some temperatures so you have here the temperature controllers and the, to control the temperature you are controlling the cooling water flow rate and then you are passing the steam here so and then you have a thermo means temperature indicators here so a steam is being condensed and the removed so this jacket is just to maintain the temperature so let's say this uh, is simple reaction is taking place inside this the reactor so so we say that inside this is particular reactor the reaction is being uh, this reaction a is going to be converted to b and b is getting converted to c now here if b is intermediate product because if the desired product is uh, c so if we say here the product we want to have the b actually the product but c is undesired product so somehow we have to maximize the b and minimize the c and that can we see how this k1 and k2 are dependent on temperature actually so let's say k1 is highly dependent uh, means on temperatures that is have very high dependency of temperature so we should have sufficiently high temperature so that b can be converted a can be totally converted into b and then reaction must be stopped in order to avoid c suppose b uh, uh, this k1 is very uh slow functions of temperature is still this reaction need to be converted to very high temperatures in order to have maximum of b so depending on k and k to the dependency so we will get to maintain the temperature and this is how these profiles will look like that this is the feed the feed concentration is continuously will fall down no matter how the c and uh, b are getting produced now c is our desired product so this is keeping keep on going on and producing and here is getting is maximum but at the same time if you will see at this particular point c is also increasing so this is not a good feasible point to have and somewhere we can end up in first batch can we end up here where, where c is just started c b is just form and after that uh, this must be re removed actually so as soon as b is formed then the reactor must be stopped in order to avoid the c actually but for that uh, we have to process in multiple reactors first reactor would end up here then it would, this feed would be charged to the another reactor and need the separation of b practically is not possible so if we write uh, <coughs> continuity equation for batch flow the nothing is coming in nothing is going out the total 
mass is conserved so dm upon dt would be equal to zero so this is first so here constant density to so dv upon dt is zero so volume of liquid in reactor is constant now we are doing the component balance so in case of v so volume into concentration will give the mass of a nothing is coming in so e a is not coming in a is not going out a is not being generated only thing a is getting disappearance means conjunct by the reactions so minus k c a b so this equation will come in this so from here we will get dc a upon dt is minus k 1 c a same thing we can write component balance of b so b is not being input not output it is being generated by first reaction k1 ca into b but it is being consumed by second reactions that is the uh, byproduct k2 cbb and for that we can write for constant volume case dcb upon dt equal to k1 ca k2 cb now component c so c case we can write a total balance equation for that for component c so in, in input is zero output is zero generation is k to cb disappearance is zero so you will get another equation dcc upon dt equal to k to cb now kinetic equations from Arrhenius equation we will get k1 equal to k10 exponential minus e1 upon rt k2 k20 exponential minus e2 upon rt so these are uh, kinetic equations for that after that we can write uh, the energy balance equation for that so this is uh, total energy of the system nothing is coming in no no energy is being supplied this is the energy that is generated by both the reactions here and this is energy transfer to the metal ball actually from the reactor to the metal ball now energy equation for only for metal balls so this is energy accumulation within the metal ball here energy in by the reactor here and this is energy out from metal ball to the jacket inside the jacket here so lambda 1 and lambda 2 are the exothermic heat of reactions of two reactions now volumetric flow rate of steam and cooling water is just to maintain the reactant temperature so they will have um, by the controller functions so they would be given some control e equations for stream and cooling water during the heating phase in the beginning steam vapor is need to maintain the reaction temperature so in the, in the starting so you are feeding a a volume of the steam into density and this is the feed rate mass rate of steam in fs into density and the mass of condensation condensate steam leaving the jacket actually so this is volume of jacket which completely fails density the energy equation for the steam vapor so this in terms of internal energies so you are just balancing here and will be coming in with the with the steam and this is the energy is coming transferred to the jacket to the metal ball and this is energy going out with the condensate actually now for the steam you have one uh, another equations in terms of enthalpy of steam enthalpy of the condensate and mass of the condensate and this is some equation actually so this is just to balance then density can be calculated from here from this steam table so this density of the steam that m upon rtj exponential aw upon tj bw where aw and a and bw are the vapor pressure constant for water m is molecular weight of the the steam practically 18 actually so this way then finally we are calculating the q equal to a delta t condensate flow rate 
and in cooling phase of jacket here if you are saying there's a jacket here so this is mcpdt of the jacket here so vj into rho j the mass of steam in the jacket the heat capacity and this tg inside jackets so energy coming in with the cooling water leaving with the cooling water and energy transfer to the jacket to the metal wall actually so this is the for cooling phase actually so you have initially the heating phase then followed by a cool cooling phase in once the reaction has been the means started and then you have reaction kinetics and uh, total you have 14 equations and all of them can be solved simultaneously so some of them would be clubbed here so total unknowns are ca that uh, <coughs> seven variables the concentration of air which we have feed in the beginning temperature of the jacket temperature of the reactor temperature of the metal ball density of the steam inside the jacket and condensate flow rate so these are the model equations for batch reactors thank you